ease, at ease. All right, my brother John, my brother John, do you, are you understanding the things that's coming out right now? All praises, all praises. Give me uh, Proverbs chapter 28, and verse 4. All right, so just to kind of go over the, the, the point that the Lord will destroy those that are wicked, right? But he's going to keep those that love him, those that, uh, that cherish uh, in his commandments, all right? Give me that. Proverbs 28 and verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. Right, so those that forsake God's laws, they leave off God's laws, they forsake uh, uh, the Lord, they praise the wicked. They praise the wicked, right? So you'll notice there's a commonality be between those who are wicked, those who are breaking God's commandments, what do they do? Right, they, they, they fill themselves with sin. They're, they're celebrating birthdays, they're celebrating Christmas, right? They, they break all manners... Of, uh, of, of all of the Lord's heritage. They don't give a damn about it, right? Including like the brothers was going over with you shaving your face. You have the same mentality that those in the world have. You see, read that again. They that forsake the law, praise the wicked. Those that forsake God's law, they leave off God's laws, read. But such as keep the law, uh -huh. contend with them. They contend with them. Now drop that and give me Psalms 145 and verse 20. All right? So you got to understand, right? The Lord will destroy those that are wicked. He doesn't deal with evil. All right? So we got to come back to the laws, the law, uh, the laws of God. That's All right? right? Read. Psalms 145 and verse 20. Yeah. The Lord preserveth all them that love him. The Lord preserves all them that love him. All right? So he's going to save you away from that destruction. Christ is going to come back and redeem us as a people should we be keeping his commandments. All right? But all the wicked will he destroy. Will he do what? Destroy. God is going to destroy those that are wicked. Destroy those that are wicked, my brother. Destroy those that are wicked, my sister. So that's why we're out here. Give me a... Uh, Give me uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 25. That's the reason that we out here. We are here to instruct those that oppose themselves. Right. We are here to, to give knowledge and understanding to our people that they don't know who they are. Right. That they're acting like the heathen out here. Right. right. And guess what? God sees that as abomination. He's going to destroy the wicked. Read. 2 Timothy 2 and verse 25. Yeah. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. In meekness, the Lord is instructing those that oppose themselves. All right? Instructing those who are ignorant to God's laws. Ignorant to the fact that they are the greatest thing that ever walked the face of this earth. That's right. Ignorant to the, to, to the laws that are good for you. All right? Give me that. Give me that in Romans. Ignorant to the things that are good for you. We're going to come back to 2 Timothy. All right? Ignorant to the things that are, are, are uplifting to your spirit. All right? My brother. My brother. Listen to this scripture real quick. My brother. What's your name? Beanum. Beanum. First name Larry. Mr. Mr. Beanum. I'm Azariah. All right? What we're teaching is the instructions of the Lord. All right? This right here is what's good for us as a people. This is what's going to turn around our people and get them out of the, the uh, dead estate in the condition that they're in right now today. All right, read that. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Yeah. Wherefore the law is holy. The Bible says the law is holy. But guess what? You look to your left and to your right, you see churches say that the law is done away with. How is it thou shalt not commit adultery is done away with? We need that law. That's right. Right? Oh, yeah. Thou shalt not steal. Do we steal in our communities? All the time. Right? It's too much. Read that again. Wherefore the law is holy. Don't you think that the law is holy? Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. We have to have the laws. How do you have a nation of people without laws? We have a nation. You won't have a nation. You have to have government. That's right. right? And that's what this Bible is instructing. For us to come back to the government of God. That's right. That's right. right? Read. Wherefore the law is holy. Uh -huh. And the commandments holy. The commandments are holy. Read. And are justified. You can't justify yourself. Yes, what can you justify with you sleeping with one of your sisters? Get them pregnant and they grow up, the, the children grow up to be bad asses and they all throughout the community That's destroying right. it. Right. How you justify that before the Lord? Right. You cannot justify That's it. Right. That's not of God, my brother. Read. And just and good and just and good go back to second timothy so that's the reason that we're out here today we're instructing our people
people. Why? Because they oppose themselves. They don't know it. They're against them all, their, their own selves. Heat. You see what we're saying? Oh, yeah. Second Timothy 2 and 25. Oh, yeah. And meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. Oh, if God, for adventure, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. The acknowledging of the truth. Right. That's what repentance is. The acknowledging of the truth. They try to come up right now. All right. Is it they or we, we, let's talk about us. Let's talk about us. We gonna talk. What they trying to do though? Yeah, they they gonna they gonna hide the truth from us. Okay, so what's gonna help us see? Watch this. Watch this. Give me that. This, uh, problems. Okay. Stop being. This is six twenty-three. Stop being suspicious. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, we we have to acknowledge what that truth is. Okay. Watch this. Uh -huh. Ain't no need to whisper it. The first Jews are black. The original Jews are black. Right? Read this. Watch this. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the commandment is a lamp. The what? The commandment is a lamp. So you said we got to open our eyes. Right? Open our eyes to what? How do we open our eyes? Lifting up the shade. It just told you. The commandments are a lamp. Read that again. The commandment is a lamp. Can one see in the dark? Nope. No. Read. And the law is a light. And the laws are the light. Right. They are the light. So guess what? You look in our neighborhoods, right? And you'll see nothing but darkness. Nothing but darkness. We don't know who we are. And we commit all types of wickedness amongst each other. That's right. All right. All men are evil before the Lord. Why? Because our people do not have the light. The right. light being God's laws. Right. The light being God's laws. Right. And give me that in, uh, what we got? Psalm 119, Give me that. Give me that. Psalms chapter 119, verse 18. All right. So, like you said, yeah. we got to remove the blinders and we got to wake up and start to realize the light. The light being God's laws. Right. Psalms 119 and verse 18. Bring it out. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of the law out of the law the That's wondrous right. things out of the law is what knowing that you are an israelite right. we don't know who we are but god calls you an israelite he don't call you black right. he don't call you a negro a nigger right. african-american right. he says this is my child that's right my child the true children of israel right. we are the real jews right. my brother right. Right. and let us give you a little bit of light right now all right Watch this. Give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians. We're going to give you just a little bit of light right now. We're going to see if your heart bears witness with the scriptures. All right? We're going to see if you know how to be meek. All right? Watch this. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter... You can humble yourself. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it out. Right. But I would have you know that every head... Excuse me. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. My brothers, who is, who is the head of the man? Who is the head of the man? We just read it. Who is the head of the man? What did it say specifically? But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who is the head of every man? Christ. Christ. All right. You're tracking. All praises. Excuse me. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. All right. Contrary to what's popular uh, going on today is that the woman has surpassed the man. So you got women ruling the household. But God says the man is the head of the household. All right. All right. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. Now watch this. Read. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying uh -huh. having his head covered dishonored his head. So right now if you notice the brothers that's out here teaching and reading. Right. right? Look at all the brothers here in purple. Do any of us have hair coverings on? A hat, a do-rag, a... Do, do, do you see any of us with our hair covers? Nope. No. Why is that? It just said it to you. Why? I missed you missed it. Missed Read that verse 4 again. Yeah, yeah. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man what? Praying or prophesying. We right now are in the midst of prophecy. Everything in this book is called the book of prophecy. That's right. All right? Read. 
having his head covered. Having his head what? Okay. Covered. Okay. Dishonored his head. Do you remember who the man's head was? Right now, it's mine. You your own head? Got it covered up. My brother. My br Leave the hat off. You know what I'm saying? Leave the hat off. You know what I'm saying? There we go. That's me. that's called repentance. Right, okay. What we just showed you was how you keep the light, the laws of God. All right. There you go. Now we can deal. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.